Hi guys, it's been so long, or it feels like it's been so long since I've done a doodle with me video. I asked you guys in my July plan with me if you wanted to see a summer doodles video and the answer was overwhelmingly yes. So that is what I'm doing today and with all that being said, let's just get started. My plan is to make this a beach theme. So I'm gonna start off with some water. I'm taking my Tombow in the color 451 and just doing a few lines here. And then I'm taking my Tombow in the color 990 to make some sand, going over again just to darken it. There we go, we've got some different layers happening. Now I'm gonna go in with my title for the page. From here on out, everything's going to be done with my black pen and then I'll add color at the end. First thing I'm gonna do is a little sun. I'm taking this template, this circle template from Artist Loft. This is a brand that is sold at Michaels just to create a circle. You could definitely freehand this, but because I have the circle template, I thought, let's use it. I mean, I feel like suns are pretty self-explanatory in the doodling department, but a tip I do have is to kind of make different lengths like that to kind of give off that ray vibe. At the bottom right-hand corner, I'm going to do a palm tree. I'm gonna pick a dot where I want the height of the tree to be, so like, right there and then going to curve or create a line that curves downwards adding some detailing on this trunk and then i'm gonna make my little palm leaves this is super simple to do you just make like a half circle and then some scallops almost like you're making umbrellas at the top i'm going to create a little pineapple so i did dots in a four by two rectangle and then i'm going to connect these sides with a curve I'm gonna connect the bottom dots with a little bit of a curve. And that's the base of your pineapple. And then to create the leaves, I'm just gonna make some back and forth lines up here. They'll look a lot more like leaves when I add the green. And then for the detailing on the pineapple, I'm just gonna create some lines that scoop downwards. See how those lines aren't straight, they're curved? That's what you want. Make some in the other direction, again, curving them. Beside the pineapple, I'm going to make a tropical drink and pitcher. For the glass, I'm starting off with a tiny, incomplete rectangle, and then I am creating kind of like a circular base. Screwed up a little bit there, but that's not a big deal. For the pitcher, I just made a cylinder, and I'm adding a rectangular handle like that and then to make the drinks a little bit more realistic i'm going to make like little bubbles and the way you do that is just by making really tiny circles add a straw a little lemon or lime on the side of the glass and voila besides summer i'm just gonna make a camera and as you can see i started off with a rectangle and two circles in the middle the circle is the lens i made a bigger version of this camera in one of my Plan with me is I think. I think I found a tutorial for it online. So if you look up camera doodle, you might be able to find a larger version of it. Super simple, but very effective at looking like a camera. I like to add little lines to imitate a flash. On the bottom half of the page, I'm gonna continue with our beach scene by adding an umbrella. I'm pretty much using the same technique that I did for the palm leaves. I changed up the size of my marker so I can make a smaller doodle of a shovel and a pail. A little star in the sand, and then I'm just gonna make some small dots to add texture. Of course, what's a beach day without an ice cream cone? Making an ice cream cone is actually super easy. We are gonna do a three scoop ice cream cone, so each scoop is going to get bigger as we get closer to the cone. Start off with not quite half a circle, more like three quarters of a circle, and then Connect those last two bits with a little swirl. And then again, get a little bit bigger. And we finish off with our cone. And there's a little sand castle that I added. This sand castle was really easy to make because it's just basic shapes, rectangles and triangles. This big gap right here, I'm going to create a little bikini. For the top, I almost make it the same way that I probably would a bow. And those are the bottoms. To fill up the rest of the page, I'm just going to make Little birds, a bee, and maybe a random little butterfly. That's what the doodles look like when they're not colored in. I do like it the way it is right now, but because it is a summer doodles page, I feel like we need to do some color. So let's go back in with my Tombos. This first color I'm using actually isn't a Tombow. It's 
a watercolor dual tip marker from Artist Loft. But the Tombos that I do use in this video will all be linked down below, every single color. I was found here, you come around here. If you see, if, if you see that I belong here, I won't get on there. Can't you see? Can, can't you see? Feed them my conceptions, feed them me. Keep seeing them. Voila, there you have it everyone. I am by no means an artist, but I do try and doodle things that are simple and that use very basic shapes so that the opportunities for messing up are minimal. You could easily make any one of these bigger or smaller depending on where you want to use them in your spread. For example, I already used a pineapple in my July plan with me for a quotes page and I love the way it looked there. So many possibilities. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what more, what other types of bullet journaling videos you want to see. I know you guys have been asking for student bullet journaling or more student bullet journaling videos and they are coming my friends. I will see you all very soon and until then, bye everyone. Be in the